Alrighty, let's get that all the way back over there. So they could see. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back. Now, this, I've got it on the 4G, so it'll be better quality. Now, I'll just come back over here. Everything's set up, so I've just got to go here. What was that? Oh, the power to the computer ain't going to help if it's undone. Things that happen when you go live are ridiculous. Anyway. Oh God. Let me bring this up here. Refresh the page. I need to just open up this live show onto another monitor so when and when I can see your comments, I can acknowledge you and um, things like that, all right? So let's hope this is the one here. I've labelled it the same as the other one. Can you hear me okay? No, I think that's the old one that I had on there. Oh no, is this this one? It's hard to tell. Okay, Jan, sounds good. Good evening. I can hear and see you fine, says Grey Scales. All right, this is going to be my first painting live, so put up with the, the carnage that might happen. All right, so now I'm going to, where'd we go? Here we go. Everything's all over the place. See, when you do a normal video, you can edit all this rubbish out. But um, So I've, I've gone and drawn a picture of a kangaroo. So in this landscape layout of a canvas, I'm just going to do a beautiful Australian, I'm going to call it Australian sunset because it's going to be Australian animal in there. And we're going to do a kangaroo hopping along the sunset, all right? And what I've gone and done, I've put this against the window there. Okay, I don't know if you can see. And I've got my lead pencil and drawn all around the edge, real heavy. So when I put it onto the painting, that's going to act like a canvas, a, a carbon. And look who's down there, Sturdy Burn, Steve. Steve, every time I come in here and paint, he comes along and um, just sits at the door. And when I've let him in, I'm not going to do it in this live show because I can't afford the, I can only get a, probably an hour out of this. When I let him in, I don't know what he wants and he always wants to go out again. So let's get started, all right? So what I want to do, I'm a bit zoomed back at the moment, but I'll bring you in in a minute. So I've got a bit of a picture there. It's an African one, but I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to get the colours out of that. So we want some orange. And for my orange, I'm going to use my red gold wherever I can find it. I've got a red gold here somewhere. And I want some yellow. Um... All right, so let's try and find my red gold. Red gold is like a, um, it's like an orange color paint. Here we, here we go. For those of you who want to know, it's just a, it looks orange, but it's more of a red gold. And it's a good quality paint, this one. And I want a pouncer, because I want to get a beautiful sun scent cascading over the landscape there. I've got some brushes here ready to go. So I've got some pounces. Pounces are these stiplers, little round sponges there, okay? We've got some of them, and we've got some good yellow paint. So we're going to use yellow for the starter. Normally, I do this... Get out of there. Normally, I do this with white craft paint. Well, this one I'm going to do with the yellow. and some retarder so the retarder for those who don't know i'm sorry i can't read all your comments there because i'm busy painting <laughs> and i'll try and see some as i go along i want to get some retarder in this as well for those people who don't know why because it keeps it wet and allows me to blend other colors on top of it kind of like an oil so let's oh my goodness Oh, that brush wasn't even washed, my beautiful brush. Bear with me a minute. So you get to see all around my studio here when I go live. I'm going to have to put that into something. Can you see me there? I'm going to have to put that into something and let it soak. Well, it was only a two bob brush, but it's, it's buggered now. I'll find something else just to apply the paint to the canvas. 
So we've got me, um, where are we? I've got a bit of a caddy here. I'm gonna work out which brush I can use to apply the paint, something flat. Maybe a gesso brush will do. Oh, yeah, I'm, something flat, because I don't want it to absorb the paint into the brush and then finding it hard to get the paint onto the canvas. So here we go, we've got that yellow. I don't know what color yellow it is. Um, it's just a craft yellow, like I use my craft white. Okay, now all, all that is mixed with the retarder, just so I can get a yellow. All right, so let's bring you in a bit closer now to the canvas there. And I'll see if I can read some, oh, no, it's very hard to read. Hello from India, yeah. I'm sorry I can't acknowledge everybody. Uh, I've been there, forgotten to clean the brush, says Grayscale, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do a lot of live paintings there, Anthony. You'd be a pro at this. Anyway, where are we? So I want the sky. Now this is acrylic. Well, this yellow is actually a craft paint, student paint, a soft bodied flowing type of paint. Okay, I'm only gonna go to the horizon line there with this. Okay, and this is on one of my canvas panels that I make myself. It's a lightweight foamalite board with artist quality canvas cloth glued to it. Alrighty, there we go, we've got that done and my brush is filthy, so now you've got to come across and watch me. Wash me brush, where did my sink go again? So I've got a, this is what I normally do off camera when I'm editing. So you get to see a bit of all the doodars that go on here in my studio. I suppose if I was live, I'd have all these bits and pieces down by the table, but... There we go. I've got a towel there. All right, now I want to get me orange gold. And um, well, before I get the orange gold, I want to get me pouncer. Oh, what one? Will... I'm going to start with this big one because I want a nice... Where are we, where are we? Yellow, oh no, I want the orange, sorry. Where are we here? So I'm getting the orange gold there, right? And I'm gonna spray the pouncer a little bit, just so we get transferring happening. So, get some, uh, I hope this works, I should be brushing it in. All right, let's go to the canvas there. How many people are watching? I can't tell. Oh, I can on my phone screen there if I have a look there. 57 people, that's not too bad. So I wanna get the orange from this side. If anything, coming across the canvas, okay? so. This is creating, as I'm putting, I'm not just stamping it, I'm giving it a little twist as well. You probably can't see me doing it, but I'm giving it little twists there as well. And this is going to, it's just a quick, non-fuss around way to get some paint on there, nice and even, okay? And just remember, all my tutorial paintings are for sale. Check the links in the description below. There's a, quite a few links there to, Tickle your fancy. All right, we got that going there. Bit of orange. Now if I want, I can get a blending brush, but I won't, and blend that a lot more even. I can, I'm gonna just do it with the this here. Up there a bit. Lightly coming into this yellow. Lightly, lightly, lightly. Now I'm gonna pick up another one with titanium white. I've got some titanium white down here. I'm gonna to have to buy some more. Okay, I needed my, <coughs> let's get some, I've got another tube somewhere there. Yeah, see, silly me, I haven't even got me tubes of paint all set up. 
now I'm going to use the other pouncer. Where are we? Can you still see me there? Yep. I'll give that a bit of a spray just so we get good transferring. And I want my other pouncer loaded up with this. I might just put a little bit on there, just a little bit of water. That's just water, nothing fancy in that bottle. And over here is roughly where our sun's going to be. It's going to be a bit, it's not going to be up there. It's going to be lower on the horizon. Okay, nothing's coming off that. So what I'll do, I had a feeling that would happen. Where are we? Where's me flow white? I've got some flowing white paint here. So I'll grab some of this. Okay, I'll just put some flowing white paint onto the table there. Can you, see, oh, you can sort of see me table a bit. And we want to get this and dance it around the outside till it fades away. Then we can intensify the very middle of that with um, white again for the actual sun. So that's coming around here. And see now, I'm virtually laying that white over that orange and what I can do is come back with the orange. This is killing the yellow a bit, fading it away up there. I want to get a little bit of orange in that corner as well. See, I can bring that orange back over there if I want. I want some just over here. See how easy these pouncers make things for you? I might put some more of the um, Australian gold, not gold, the um, red gold on there. Because I want this other corner a little bit darker than what that is. There we go, that's my darkness. Now I'll just let the sponge wear away to do the fading. I wish I can read your comments there. I don't have my contacts in, and if I put my glasses in, it's still too blurry. Um, so this is just a live painting. I'm not here acknowledging. I normally I like to acknowledge my viewers there when I go live. Now I'm going to sort of get this blending into that. See, I'm just teasing these colours till I'm happy. Normally I can control this with a brush. Okay. Because we can detail this with clouds, whatever you want, over this before we put our basic kangaroo on there. Now I've got to clean these, so it's a bit of a bit of a journey within itself. So come on over here, let me clean me pounces. The worst thing you can do is leave them unclean and they're buggered. Certain um, instruments you use in your art like pounces or brushes, they become your pet and if you lost one of these you'd be sort of devastated. I don't know, I hope you can hear me under all that water. Alright, so I virtually used one applicating brush and a couple of pounces so far just to get me sky. Art is all in your imagination and how creative you can think and go with it, you know. So where are we going there now? What I would like to do is get some brown because now I want this red gold. I want it a darker tone. I'm just going to go and Excuse me a minute, see if I can read some of these. Wonder if the pouncer works better than a sponge. They do, but you have to work out what you're going to use them for. I never think about what I am painting for or the process. Angela Young, pouncers work great as a, uh, as depending on what the effect you like. Exactly. All right. So um, I'll get um, some more going here. So am I happy with that? I want a darker value of this now, so I'm just going to it's a red gold, so I'm going to grab a bit of um, brown just to make it easier. I'll get some burnt umber. How's that? Let's see what burnt umber does with it. 
if that's going to darken it up a bit. I don't want it too dark. Turn the headlights on. That will do. I'll use a bit of burnt umber. So I'm going to darken some of that with burnt umber. Probably could have used another brown, but I'm not sure. So we'll um, get our value there. That's the amount I want. Let's put that down there so you can see what I'm doing. There's my red gold. I've got to be careful how much I put of the, um, where are we? Brown in there. I need a um, filberty brush, some sort of filberty brush. This one will do, just to mix it up. So I want to gradually add some of this to get a darker value. I'll put a bit just this so I could see what the real color was. And see, I didn't use much. Just something to distinguish a darker tone of that orange gold, red gold. And if you don't have a red gold, mix up an orange. And once you've got your orange mixed, you can add some brown to it just to get this flavour, because I want it to be darker than the um, up here, okay? All right, so we're getting that done. And I could probably use this pounce, not this pouncer, this, um, where are we? This filbert brush just to get me tree line in. So I want like, where's the sun about? Everything's, everything's wet, so I want to dry it. Just where I'm putting the, um, the horizon tree line there. Otherwise they're gonna mud up a lot and make it very difficult. I should have um, bought the horizon line lower. I've got it pretty much in the centre. I'll try and bring it a bit lower. That'll do. That'll do. Alrighty. Ian, should you be... Um, I can't read your comments properly from there. Down the sink, I was told cat litter uh, water accumulates in the pipes. No, well, I've never had a trouble with it. I've got plastic pipes here. I've never had a trouble with it. And there's quite a lot of people, I suppose, that rinse their brushes out in the sink. I'm using hot water to dissolve it. Anyway, let's get on. So here's my horizon line. So I'll get this along. Yeah, it's still not nowhere near dry there. Is that on hot? Yep. Let's get into this, eh? There we go. Now we want to get some... I'm just using this filbert brush. I feel it'll make some nice tree tops in the distance there. I'm just getting it on for now, and then I'll um, shape it. And you can see now how it's darker than that red gold that we used in the sky. Get some of this blended down. All right, where are we? Let's get a bit closer there. Thank you, Angela Young. Angela Young just sent a donation through on the Super Chat. And for those of you who don't know how she done that, there's a dollar sign down there. You hit that if you want to send donations through to support my content. So now I'm looking for some... Where we go? We'll put some over here. These are trees. Canopies of trees. Let's get a bit more darker in there. I hope that's not too blurry. Um, I've got it on 4G. I'm trying to remember what else. I like the ends coming up off the thing there. 
Um, I'm just trying to remember what other settings I had to have on my camera. I think I've got it all done. See, I've left some. See, I'm going along the top like that because they're the tops there, okay? And you can get like a, where are we? I bet you this ain't the right finer brush, but I'll try it. And I can put, no, it's the wrong brush. Trunks going up, sticky trunks going up through all that. Sort of that African canopy, but it's not African, it's, this is Australia. And what I would like to do is probably get some glare on some of this now when I finish this. But I picked something simple and basic because um, I'm, it's the first time I've done a tutorial live. Now I want to grab the white pouncer. Where did I put them? Oh, this. Where did I put my pouncers? Oh, here they are. I want to get some good quality white. Let's hope I can find some because I need another tube. I'm just looking on my table down here if you're wondering where my head went. You know what? I've got no more white. My goodness, I've got to go to the art shop. So I'm going to use the craft white and clean. I'm on the clean pouncer, load it up and pretty much get me intensified sun there it's there blur it out a bit because those of you who don't know the sun is white there we go oh what's going on there oh the joys are going live eh how's that look now what i'm going to do is blend that because it's a little bit, I could see the edge of the sponge on there, and the pounce. I just want the very middle bit intensified. That'll do. Now we're going to grab our same brush <clears throat> down here. I don't have much white. I want to highlight some of this stuff. Get it just at a a lighter value and pretty much where our sun is in the sky gives some highlighted elements oh come on on our trees here so this will create the um, pretty much the depth of the trees as well like little umbrella shapes up there. Uh, in my last show, my last Friday Night Live, people were asking if I can go live with Mr. Len Hen there. You know, Len, I've had a talk with Len Hen. He's quite busy at the moment, uh, but when he feels he can do something like that, because he's got a lot going on in his life, as we all do, um, he'll let me know. So if anything happens from that, we'll let you know anyway, okay? So those people who just were wondering about that, if something was gonna happen with me and Len Hem, we'll let you know, we'll keep you informed, okay? All right, so we've got some, I can detail this off camera, you know, putting trunks in and all that, but this is just, how's that looking on the camera there? I'm getting some long, I'll get a bit more dark back in there because I feel I've gone too, too light. Okay, now we need a bottom. So we're going to grab the darker colour. I'm going to use this brush that I used before and I just want to, let's show you here. I'm just pulling that burnt umber into all that paint now just to get a darker colour. And I'll put some water with it so it's going to spread. Because I just want... Where I'll get that up there. Not too dark though, because our kangaroo's going to be... 
there. So I want to get the red gold again. Where are we? Let's just bomb that onto the pallet. So I'm just bombing some red gold onto the pallet. I want to dampen my brush. Yeah, I'll show you. Get that on there. This is just for the bottom. Bear with me a minute while I get that up there. All right, now I want some lighter elements in there as well. So I'm just going to pick up some of the white. some lighter elements in the ground and why I'm doing that because we're having a dark silhouette there okay so we don't want to um, uh, what do you call it have a dark background uh, what I'm looking for is a brush something I can just scatter right with some permanent not permanent but pure raw umber so I'm getting the pure raw umber now that's a darker value I just want some dark in front of those trees there so I'm looking for a brush and um, I'll use my filbert one again no I'll use yeah I'll use the filbert one so I'm just rinsing that how many people are watching I don't um, I think there's over 50 people watching that's not too bad thanks for joining me show here it's the first time I'm done painting live I'm sorry I can't acknowledge everybody here in the comments. I'll go, let me just have a look and see. Yeah, thank you, Sharon. Welcome to all the, Angela Young. Uh, looking good, thank you. Thank you, Megan, B, Barry, Angela, Ruth, Sharon. Thank you all. All righty. Now, I just want to put some, some sort of, um, get there. Uh, this is all wet. It probably could have been dry, which it does need to be dry. It's going to need to be dry when I do the silhouette. I just want to get some darkness under that bush there. Um, how long have we been going for? Half an hour. That's not too bad. I hope you can hear me through the through the hair dryer because I have the separate microphone on, I'm pretty sure you can. Lady, oh, I'll tell you what, I'm dying for a mouthful of me coffee, eh? Yeah. Need some of that coffee in my mouth, there we go. Alrighty then, let's get some of this in front there, just bushes and shrubs. I'm pressing light because the paint's a bit tacky. If I press real heavy, it's going to want to pull the paint off. Okay, so we're getting some, how's that looking on there? Just something darker along here. Other bushes that are in front of it. I mean, it's a basic painting, but I'm kind of doing it in layers, so it has a little bit of pizzazz with it. And then off camera, I'll probably detail it as well, just to give it a bit more sense of value so I can sell it because I do like to sell my paintings my tutorial paintings and um, if you're watching the replay the links are in the description below you can see what paintings of mine are available this live show at the moment if you're in the live show the links aren't there yet okay so I'm getting this along there it's just the pure burn umber here and um, If everyone can tell me where they're from in the links, not in the links, in the description, if you're watching the replay, or if you're live following me now, you can just tell me where you're from. I've pretty much got a good idea where most of my audience is, but it's, it's always nice to know 
What's that air con doing? All right, I can muck with that till the cows come home. See, it's pulling the paint off there. Muck with it too much. Let's just clean my brush. And I want a bit more light here where the sun is, so I'm gonna grab that filbert brush. I've just washed it, and I want a bit more light here, just reflecting onto the ground. That paint's very dry. I mean, not very dry, but it's drier than what it was before. So I'm gonna pick up this one now and pull that through just to kill it a bit, because it is a bit. Here we go, how's that looking? I just gotta look in my phone to get an idea. There we go, yeah, that's fine. Now, I'm gonna detail these trees later uh, off camera, because it's, it's getting a good vibe of a painting going on here, so I'm just highlighting some of that around the sun there. So I will be doing that off camera and we'll put our kangaroo on there. See, I was ready to turn the camera off so I can start drawing it, but um, which way should we have our kangaroo? We want him pretty much dancing in the sun over here. Mm. Yeah, that'll do, somewhere there. So I've got to dry it now, just so I can press him on. Ah, oh, the joys of drawing a painting, eh? Well, yeah, so check out the links below. I'll try and read some comments while I'm drawing that. Or knowledge, Sharon Russell, Balladura Perth. Judy, hello Judy from Melbourne. Mary, uh, Fernando from Canada. Rhonda from Colorado Springs. Hello everybody. How many people are there watching? 53 people. Hit the thumbs up while you're waiting for me to draw it. If you haven't already hit the thumbs up. And if you feel like sending me some port, hit that dollar sign down below in the super chat. All right. Getting there, getting there. I, I want this reasonably dry. Yeah, now I've just thought of something. My kangaroo, I've got it going to the right, so it's virtually running out of the painting. And I really need it going into the painting and I needed it under this bit here. So I made a bit of a boo-boo, but what I'll do, I'll go and find some other ones later. I'll, I'll put this one there, but I'll find some others and put next to him, sort of, so we're not going to get that look, you know? So all we need now, that's, that's dry, good. I just grabbed some, some tape, which I've got over here. Just some low tack tape. All right. Back to here. And now I've put the lead pencil like I showed you on the other side. Where do we want our kangaroo? Somewhere about here. That's why I've got all this light. So it's going to show, and I'm just going to use good old black for this kangaroo. Like I said, I'll keep it simple. Now you need a red pen. Where's a, where is my red pen? It's normally over there. Why I use a red pen is because you can see where you've already, um, I'm going to have to use a black one, sorry. You can already see where you've um, traced over the um, stencil. Is there a bit of glare here? I'm not sure. Now let me just see. It's working. So I'll just start from 12 o'clock on the picture. And... I just found a silhouette of a kangaroo. <sighs> 
and I'm using it on my own background. So there's always ways you can change up your paintings. <laughs> you know what, these lives would be great if the people, you people watching had sound as well. You can send voice clips in. It would be great. I suppose that'll change in years to come with Facebook. And then I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to use a black paint to silhouette this in. I press reasonably hard. There we go. I'm not sure if you can see it. Oh, careful. That's why I use a low tack tape. I can see him. You might not be able to. Um, but what I will do, I will make a traceable for this kangaroo. So in the future, if people want to um, add one of my tutorials to their arsenal with one of my traceables, I can just send you a traceable for the kangaroo. Uh, there will be a link in the description below for all my traceables as well. There's links for my traceables. There's links for what I'm doing here is I'm just going over that line now just to detail it. There's links for my video catalogue. How much I've got over 200 videos in my catalogue. I do say it a lot in every video, but people need to know. Now I'm, on a, I'm trying to look for a um, flat brush. While I'm looking for a flat brush, see if there's any. Red pen is a good idea, says Holly. Donna, hello Donna. Barry Redburn, very few locals are showing more when they get out of town. Um, where's a flat brush? I want a good flat brush to do. I want one and I want two. I want, boy I want them, they're great for blocking in silhouettes. Where are we? Let's get this over there. Golly, I wish I could see that, eh? Yeah, if I ever go live again like this, it's hard to get someone here nowadays. They can acknowledge who's talking and whatnot. Now I want some black, so I'm just gonna use good old black. I've got some carbon black here. Let me put the lid on that paint there. So I've just got some carbon black in me tube. I'll get some of that onto the board. And I want a little squirt of water on there, just so as um, the transfer will happen. Now back on my palette. See now I've got a couple of little brushes for the areas of his ears and the fine areas. And I'll, why I use the, the the flat brushes, is they're good for mapping in, blocking in stuff for, you use the edge. Come up here. Like here on his back. You, I, I can anyway, I find it very, very easy. I can get his edge down his back of his neck there. That's why I keep the paint a little bit damp so it's transferring greatly. Right there. And right there. I can't speed it up, can I? <laughs> I'm used to doing all my editing and having the luxuries of editing everything. Okay, so I'm getting his tail in. <coughs> I can dampen that brush a little bit more. And if you get into too many narrow areas, that's where I'd like to change my brush. See, I already hurt his tail there, so I'll bring that over that way now. And I tell you what, kangaroos, if you've never met a kangaroo in your real life, I'm going to change brushes. They have very big, strong claws on their back feet, and they use their tail so they can stand up on just their tail and kick their opponent. They love boxing and fighting other kangaroos. Now we get a lot of them here in Australia, as you know, native to our country here. All right, so we're getting his tail on and their tail, oh, is very strong as well. And we even eat kangaroos. Uh, the, a lot of the country farm people eat kangaroos, roo stew and there's pet kangaroos and there's feral kangaroos, I suppose. I'm not quite sure how their feet go. I'm just sort of rushing this one together this morning. 
it's morning time here, Monday morning in Perth. For those of you that are in the States and Europe over there watching, that's what time it is here. And we've got his. And they always have this stance when they're hopping. They'll look, look backwards, and they hop. And their, their front legs are shorter than their back ones, and they're always curled up over their belly there. Okay. Now we want his ears. Now I've got to use the smaller one now, so that's why I've got those brushes. I'm using the smaller one, and this one is actually a filbert, but it's... I can get the edges done. Nice simple exercise for beginners, but effective. It's got an Australian flavour. You can probably do this like the actual picture I used, the colours for the sky was an African theme, but I didn't want to, I'd done an African video a while ago, so I don't want to do another one so soon. There's his face. I've got to get that paint just a little bit damp, which is great. I'm hoping this is clear enough. When I look back at the replay, I'll get an idea. Nothing worse than watching a tutorial if the image is a little bit on the grainy side. So, what do we got here? Does he stand out? Pretty sure he does. He could have been a bit higher. All right, I'll go and read some comments there. Okay, so bear with me a minute. Uh, Kim Pickerel, thank you very much, and Angela Young for your donations there. Um, um, I would have turned my canvas all di different directions. Hello, everybody. Somerset, Massachusetts. Felicita. Kim Pickerel, hello, Kim. Sharon. And we've got how many people there? We've got 51 people, good stuff. What paper did you use to trace? Just normal A4 office paper. It was just a scrap bit of paper out of a pad. I just traced a silhouette onto there. That's all I used. Um, I was just looking in my camera there, 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 there. I don't know if I should do it, but I might put a little bit of a reference of a shadow, how's that looking? Yep, that worked, that worked. Too easy, capital easy. Yep, that worked. Now I'll get you back here. I keep pulling on my wire. I'm, when I watch the replay back of this, I'll be able to see the lighting and stuff. I'm, like I said, this is the first time I've gone live. Yeah, on, on my monitor here, it looks very blurry. Um, oh, we'll put a signature on it. So where's my signature brush? And I'm going to use the dark black to sign this one because it'll stand out. So when you sign something, someone was asking, do you put the date? It's totally up to you, I reckon. Come over here. And... Um, I've put some water in me black, I've dampened the brush, I've got a liner brush, and you get it reasonably inky, and you can practice getting your signature to a quality that you really like. Sometimes we rush them, so we'll put our signature on here, so leave it away from the corner enough to house a frame if it's going to have a frame on it in its life, so we get so if you're watching the replay of this, check out the links in the description below. Uh, support my content by buying my art. There's a link for everything there. Check them out. There's about half a dozen. And we'll put Steve's little paw print there. And we'll whack a frame on this. Just to see how it looks. <coughs> Tell you what, those colours look great in a frame. Let's have a look at that head on. Where are we? There we go. Just a quick, simple Australian sunset for kangaroo. I might put some more in there because he didn't want to be hopping off the page. It's but 
you get that. That's not too shabby, eh? All right. Oh, I'll take my sunnies off. Not my sunnies, my glasses. All right, now what I will do, I'll um, try and acknowledge a couple of people. Let me see how long this video has been going for. 45 minutes, that's not too bad. You can see it there. I'll leave it in the shot. Mr. Kangaroo hopping along the ground. Uh, what do we got here? Gail, sorry I miss it. You're welcome, Gail. You've got just the tail end of it. B. Dyer, very pretty. Thank you very much. Sharon Russell, congrats. Thank you. Angela Young is great, different watching it live. Uh, Angela, just tell me how the quality of the camera is because I've got to wait till I watch the replay. If you can just say good, bad, or medium. Um, Cynthia, thank you for joining. Cynthia, Diane Tice. And um, yeah, that's great. We've got 43 people watching. I could probably answer some questions too, if you like. While I'm taking advantage, what I saw was great, says Dodie. Uh, all good my end, says Angela. Thank you very much, Angela. Um, all right, so while I'm, while I'm just talking around here, I'm just gonna fix his tail up because I've sort of made a dog's breakfast out of that. Oh my God, what an ugly tail. Yeah, I'll bugger it. I'll, I'll, I'll get the arch of his back a bit bigger just to make up for that. There we go. Yeah, so this is the first time I've done a live painting. I'm quite happy with it, but it needs a lot more setting up at my end. Um, I've got a bit of cleaning up to do. Anything else there? All right, so I might, what does that say there? Great job, all good my end. Okay, I've read all that. All right, let's get this camera up so you can see me there. There it is, we've got our kangaroo hopping along in the sunset. Thank you for joining this live video, all right? And um, Leah, like I said, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the links, uh, hit, hit the subscribe button. And there is a bell next to it for those people who don't know. If you hit that bell as well, you get notified when I'm uploading material on my YouTube channel, all right? Tell your friends if you like what you see me doing here today. But if you don't, you tell everybody, all right? All the best. Goodbye, good luck. And good on you. And it's Uru from the Guru.